Mark Granlin says he rescued this dog, a pit bull mix named Tank, about four months ago. When I took it in, and it was skin and bones. You could, it was abused. You could pick out every bone on this dog. On July 20th, Granlin says he let Tank go outside to go to the bathroom at his apartment on West Superior Street in Ishpeming. That's when Mark says the Ishpeming Police Department took his dog. And I heard like an altercation, you know, outside. And I tried to hurry up and go out there. The officer, you know, called my dog out of my yard. Granlin says that he tried contacting police to get his dog back. He says he got no response from police. Tank was then taken to the Ishpeming Township Pound, where he stayed for a week. The dog was then transferred to Upaws, where Mark picked him up. When Granlin brought his dog home, he noticed something was off. The excitement was gone. It was, we noticed it, you know, and he wasn't eating for four days. You know, he wouldn't go to the bathroom. Granlin eventually took Tank to the vet, where a doctor said his dog had an infection. Tank was then put to sleep. It shouldn't happen. I want to stop this. Uh, my dog is illegally taken out of my property, and... It shouldn't happen. However, there are two sides to every story. Ishpeming Police Chief Dan Willie says the officer that was involved with this incident did nothing wrong. On uh, July 20th, my officers got called to a house at uh, 133 West Superior on a uh, possible domestic violence situation. This dog left the property, followed the officer around the other properties. Quite frankly, if he would have answered the door, we would have given him the dog right, right then and there, but he chose not to answer the door. Willie added that officers took custody of the dog because the owner was not being responsible and they didn't want the dog to get hit by a car. Tank was in good condition when police dropped him off at the pound, therefore relieving their responsibility for the dog. The story is blown up on social media. The social media postings have caused a lot of problems for the police department, including death threats against Ishpeming PD officers. I don't appreciate this social media attack on our department for something uh, that you know people are basing their information and their feelings on just one side of the story without any of the facts. That, that's really disheartening. My guys face a lot of bad situations in this city, and when we do something right, like pick up a dog who's being neglected, get it to a safe place, and now we're being attacked and accused of hurting this dog. That's That, that angers me. Ishpeming Police did issue Granlin a civil infraction on July 31st for allowing Tank to run at large, which is a violation of a city ordinance. Granlin says Tank will have an autopsy in the near future, and he still isn't sure where Tank got the infection that ultimately cost the dog his life. For ABC 10 and CW5 News, I'm Jerry Taylor.